birth. Thank you. Thank you for all what you've been doing for us on MEA through your program, through a lot of interviews, from a lot of things that personally you did for us. You've been a brother to me. Absolutely, you've been a brother to me. And you've been doing a lot. Thank you for that. Good evening and welcome all. Dignitary, politician, corporate representative, most important friends. Honestly, I would like to thank the corporate who sponsor us, the community, all the federal agency, county executives. Thank you for what you said and thank you very much. Mr. Corbin and Jeffrey Flipman from the State Department. Honestly, they've been good help to us. The State Department, the Commerce Department, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, all of them. Yes, May 1st, we're gonna start broadcasting to the Arab world and Europe. We're gonna be the first TV network goes from United States to the Arab world, highlighting the activities of the Middle Eastern American community, politically, socially, and economically building bridges of understanding between United States and the Arab world. The awardee. Honestly, when we discuss me and Nada, who should honor, we look at the people who serve so much to the community, who devote their life to serving the community. People like Dr. Haifa Fakhouri, and ACC and all the honestly excellent job you're doing to the refugees and hiring member of the Chaldean and, and the Arab American community. To Jean Shalal and, and, and she worked so hard with the Ladies of Charity and with the Associated Food Dealer and Petroleum and devoted herself to serve the community. Irma Ander. And honestly, she's been for so long one of the biggest supporters of the community. Ish Ahmed, he's the person that, not serving only the Arab American community, but the whole community at large. What we see in Dearborn and what we see in Access and their service today, it's all come to a very few people, one of them is Ish Ahmed. And honestly, anytime. I see a project helping the needies and the children I think about Ish Ahmed. Ish, thank you for that. My chairman and co-chairman of our advisory board, Tarek Daoud and Mike George. Tarek, you've been serving and helping a lot of members of this community. You devote your life to serve the community. And how many board you are? 30, 40, 50? And honestly, on behalf of all of us, we thank you. Mr. George? Mr. George, honestly, yes, a lot of time I introduce him as the godfather of the community, but he is more than that. He helped so many people when they came from the homeland to here to start their business. He helped so many organizations. This is a club, if it wasn't for Mike George and a few other, just, just a few other people, we wouldn't have this beautiful facility. Mr. George, I think you do more and put more time to the help the community and the organization than your business. And we know you have so many businesses. We thank you very much for what you've been doing. Honestly, I would like to take the opportunity to thank the board of director of Shenandoah, Mr. Najib Samuna and his board doing a great job for us. And honestly, I would like, and I, I did that so many times personally, but I would like to thank him very much. Our manager, Lee, who make us so proud when we bring, when we bring guests to Shenandoah and show them our second home. He's doing a great job. The service that this club gives is second to none. And Lee, we thank you for that. You make us proud, honestly, about our club. 
I would like to thank all the sponsor and the advertiser and the community. Without them, we wouldn't be here. And finally, I want to thank my, my, my real family, the family of MEA TV, Nada, Aya, Hani, Rami, Chanel. You know, we, we, we have, honestly, they make me shine. And, and what you see in TV is all the work of them. We're going to be broadcasting to the Arab world and Europe. And this is a huge project. And those people are the one behind it. So honestly, I thank you very, very much. And you know what? I'd like to thank all of you for coming here. Thank you very much. The hot streak, when everything is going your way. But there's never been a surefire way to catch lightning in a bottle until now. Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort is now certified hot. Hundreds of the hottest slots certified by the manufacturers to be set to the best paybacks guaranteed. Plus, the hottest table game action, live entertainment, and nightlife. All at the only casino and resort that's certified hot. Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. was right. She always said if I dropped 15 pounds and lowered my cholesterol, I'd feel better. And I do. She also told me that her health care would be much more affordable. Guess what? She was right. Again. Fact. With healthy blue outcomes from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, better health can lower your deductible by up to $2,500. The care you need when you're sick. The help you need to live a healthier life. That's our promise. Learn more at a healthiermichigan.org. للمزيد من المعلومات عن التغطيه الصحيه من بلو كراس بلو شيلدز اوف ميشيغان التي تتناسب مع نمط حياتكم واحتياجاتكم زوروا bcbsm.com او اتصلوا بوكيلكم المحلي Time is running out to pay your 2008 property taxes. State law requires it by March 31. You pay or make arrangements to pay these taxes. Wayne County Treasurer Raymond Wojtovich doesn't want your property, but by law he must collect taxes to fund essential government services. Please call 313-224-6105 or visit treasurer.waynecounty.com. March 31st is the deadline. Don't let time run out on you. Has arrived. Walsh graduates are ready to hit the ground running. Walsh College. Live. Breathe. Business. Dr. Haifa Fahoudi is President and CEO of the Arab American and Chaldean Council, or ACC. A graduate of Wayne State University, Fahoudi came to the United States from her homeland of Jordan in 1968 to pursue her academic goals. After graduating, she served as an international advisor to the U.S. Agency for International Development and the United Nations Development Population as an international consultant on women and population policies in the Middle East region. Fahoudi's strong leadership and keen vision towards community economic self-sufficiency and the actualization of human potential for newly arrived immigrants became her passion. Her experience as a sociologist, educator, and administrator enabled her to lead a number of supporters to establish ACC, a much-needed human service agency established to meet the growing needs of the Arab community. Over the past 30 years, ACC has grown from a single office in downtown Detroit to 40 outreach offices. She has provided a bridge for economic self-sufficiency and the actualization of human potential for many immigrants. 
through her development and implementation of employment and training programs and huge $36 million development project, Fahuri revitalized a dilapidated area into a thriving and vibrant neighborhood. I would like to thank uh, Walid and his staff for a wonderful job. I guess we have something in common to serve the entire community and to face the new challenges that we are witnessing nowadays with the refugee population and the economic needs and the financial constraints our community members are facing right now. So I want to commend you on a job well done and we share your dreams and we are in it together. Thanks a lot. Ismail Ahmed is an academic leader who has been bridging community gaps for more than 36 years as an associate provost for integrated learning and community partnerships at the University of Michigan. Mr. Ahmed is responsible for working closely with faculty and community partners to resolve metropolitan problems. From September 2007 through 2010, Mr. Ahmed was director of the Michigan Department of Human Services. In his final year, the department administered a $6.9 million budget and served 2.9 million people in benefit programs. In his tenure, the department was able to substantially upgrade its child welfare program. Mr. Ahmed co-founded the Arab Community Center for Economic and Social Services in 1971 and was executive director from 1983 to 2007. With affiliates in 11 states offering more than 90 different programs with more than 900,000 contacts annually. He has enjoyed a lifelong affiliation with the national and metropolitan Detroit arts communities. He co-founded the Arab American National Museum in Dearborn and is co-curator and co-chair of New Detroit's Concert of Colors. He resides in Dearborn, Michigan with his wife Margaret and has five children and two grandsons. Good evening and congratulations to MEA. Wally, thank you so much. Uh, thank all, we want to thank all of you for this kindness and for supporting MEA. This is a great community, and it's full of great people who make a difference every day in the life of this society. And our opportunity is even greater to become a part of the American fabric and to contribute broadly across this nation, which we're already doing. Thank you so much for coming out tonight, and thank you for this great honor.